Welcome to Mom's World. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just want to quickly get on here and show you guys what I'm currently working on right now. So I have a bunch of these little mini booklets. Um, I got them at Target. They come in an eight pack for just three dollars. So I got the plain white ones. They come in on. I think that there's one where the cover is all black. And I think there's also lined ones as well, where you have lined papers in the inside. This one is just plain white paper. So I have, I got eight of these booklets and I'm currently using seven right now. And what I'm planning on doing is making each booklet a different subject for my toddler to um, practice over the summer before she starts pre-K. So I've labeled a different subject on each booklet. So this is the math booklet. This is my colors and shapes, my writing, my telling time booklet, my art booklet, and my reading booklet. I am missing one because I'm not sure what subject I'm gonna be adding to that book. So right now I only have seven. So I'm just gonna go through what I have in the books. I've only done one book so far, so I'm just gonna show you guys what I have in the math booklet. And as I um, finish the other ones, I will make another video showing you the update on those. So um, let me just grab the math. So each booklet um, has 16 pages inside. So um, I've done 16 activities so far in the math booklet. So what I did was I just made a label and I just took some tape and taped it over the cover here. So when you open it up, we see numbers 1 through 50, so it's just showing um, the numbers 1 through 50 here. And then the next page sh um, continues the numbers uh, 51 to 100 here. And then on this side, I have an activity that just says trace 1 to 20. So she'll just trace the numbers. The next page here says how many. And basically she'll have to count the stars here and just circle how many and so on for the rest of the shapes. Again another how many activities. She'll just have to count the numbers of ducks that she sees here and just circle the answer here and so on. The next activity is what comes next. So I have um, 1 through 16 here and I just left some empty boxes where she'll have to fill in the missing numbers. So one, two, blank, four, what comes after two? One, two, three, so she'll just have to write the number three here. Here's just another tracing activity, numbers 21 to 40, that she'll trace here. Over here says matching numbers. So each chicken has a different number and she'll just have to trace the number, so this is number four. So, and then she'll have to find the four eggs that belong to that chicken and just draw a line to um, that specific egg. So this chicken needs four eggs. So she'll find four eggs and just draw a line here. On this side here is just adding, some simple adding. So here's a circle, which is supposed to represent a cookie. And it says, add five chocolate chips on the cookie. So she'll just have to draw five chocolate chips. Here it says add 8 chocolate chips on the cookie, add 12 chocolate chips, and add 18 chocolate chips on the cookies. Another adding activity where it says add 6 raindrops falling from the cloud. So she'll get to add little raindrops. Here it says 20 raindrops, 15 raindrops, and 9 raindrops falling from the cloud. And here is um, some addition simple addition so one plus one equals and she'll write the number she also has objects here that will show her um what the number is so one and then there's one hat here two socks plus one sock equals and she'll write the number here so on and then the next page is some more addition so it's a different i did a different format here it's two plus two and right next to it they have the um, amount, two stars, two stars, and then they'll write the answer here, three plus two. So they'll just have to count all of these 
together to get the answer. 4 plus 2 and 5 plus 2. Here's some more addition in a different format. Here it's kind of different because the, um, the boxes here are blank. So she's going to have to look at what's up here and write the number down here. So how many teddy bear do you see here? You see one teddy bear. So one plus how many here? One equals blank. How many teddy bears do you see here? One, two. So two plus two equals blank. So she gets to fill in all the missing um, boxes here herself. So that's this page. Next page is subtraction. So basically the same thing with addition. 2 minus 1 equals blank, but um, here we have two trees. So 2 minus 1, so she's going to look at the two trees and have to take away 1. So she's going to X out one of the trees and get the answer of what's left. Same with the dinosaurs, 4 minus 2, we have 4 dinosaurs, but she's going to have to take away 2 and then see what's left. And so on. And here is a different format. Um, 4 minus 2, so she looks at the 4 and then the four carrots and then she takes away two again and see what's left same for the rest of these and then the last page here here's um the last subtraction page and i did this one a little different as well i left the boxes blank just like i did the addition so she's gonna have to fill these in herself so what i did was i did I put the um, picture up here, so we have one, two, three, four, five hearts, and I and I xed out two hearts. So she's gonna have to see that there's five total hearts here. So she's gonna have to write five minus how many did I how many did I x out, and she's gonna have to see that there's two hearts xed out. So she's gonna have to write the number two here, and then give me the answer. The same way, the same thing goes for this one. There's three total hearts, so three, but how many is X'd out? One, so then what's left? Two, so she writes the answer down here. Uh, so that's all I have here in the um, math booklet. Just some simple math activities to um, just keep her brain going during the summer so she's prepared for when she starts uh, pre-K. She'll be in pre-K four this September. Um, so yeah, just a little disclaimer, I don't homeschool her. I've never homeschooled her. The only reason why I started making videos like these is because when she was home and wasn't in school yet, I made um, some activities so she can practice and um, get familiarized with um, certain things before she started preschool. So I just enjoyed making these activities for her and I thought, you know, I can upload and share with you guys um, the things that I've made for her. And then she started preschool and now that she's home for the summer, I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to make more activities for her so she's just still on track and um, still learning while she's home before she starts pre-K. So she's familiarized again when she starts school and she hasn't forgotten anything. So this is the booklet that I have um, done so far. I still have all of these um, to make. So, so I'm just going to let you guys know uh, what I did to make it. So all I did was... I just went on the computer and just made these activities on, um, you guys could use a uh, Microsoft Word. I just use pages. So I just create the, um, these there and then I just print them out and I just glued them on to the, to the already blank pages that they have in the booklet. Very simple. You don't even have to use a computer. You can just write everything by hand, but I'm just, I just rather have it look very neat and put together and that's why I chose to do it on the computer but you guys really don't have to you could just write them out yourself draw these um, images yourself it's fairly simple so um that's what I have here and like I said I do plan on continuing with the rest and letting you guys know um what I've put into these so these are her little booklets that she's going to be working on during the summer before she starts school again, so um, these activities will be for toddlers that are um, around her age. She's four years old, so um, just to let you guys know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy, and see you next time. Bye.